Welcome back, everyone, to more of Cuphead. Don't deal with the double walkthrough. I defeated those ghosts off, cam off camera. And this is basically the, the last Muslim level. Well, there is. The third and last one. Here's the dialogue from more legendary chalice. Magical Super. Yep. You're yeah, probably wondering what the next of the powers are. A new super. Excuse me. So now basically, um, hold just for a minute here. Now basically for the, um, the run and gun levels, there's only, if you wonder how many there's left, there's basically one more lo level left for a uh, run and gun. You can go down here, but this part of the road is closed here. Now you're probably wondering, how do you get to um, Perilous Piers? Basically, you have to go through like another boss fight, which in order to um, access um, Perilous Piers. Another one of the love boss fights to go to at the moment is basically Shootin', Shootin and Lootin', where I have to defeat a pirate named Pirate Briny Beard. You're probably wondering where to go to to find him. It's by going over here to where you see the ship. This will take you to Shootin' and Lootin', where you have to defeat um, Captain Briny Beard. That's the next boss fight that I'm going to go to right now for Shootin' and Lootin'. But you'll find out when um, access this or that level. And after like the Perilous Piers, that's basically um, that's basically the last of uh, Run and Gun. And all that's left is basically uh, the boss levels for this game that I'm doing right now, plus the um, Delicious Last Course. So just hang on here just before I get started with this level, where I defeat um, Captain Brunny Beard. Okay. And this is like a... And for a pirate named Pirate Brunny Beard, his character reminds me of... And for his appearance, he looks like... A guy who basically looks like um, Sinbad the Sailor from Popeye the Sailor Man, which to me kind of does when you really think about it. It's not just Bluto, which is also a guy from Popeye the Sailor. But it's also a, but also, just before I get started here, so just hang on. Well, I'll, I'll explain later on. Anyway, I'm gonna start this level right now. I would, I would explain what I was gonna, what I was gonna say, but I'm just gonna get started with this level here. Now, basically, what you gotta do here. Talk about the high seas. Now here you gotta watch out for these barrels. What do you see right here? Well at the same time trying to get this guy. I also watch out for what's coming from this ship here. Watch out for the cannonballs from this guy. I gotta try to get in here because I died. Your skills be like my very treasure, just like a myth. For what he says, like when he, when he, when he died from him. Another thing is that he also basically, a guy that was, who was a cartoon pirate. A lot of you may think of Long John Silver, even though he's the one-legged man. But he has two peg legs instead of one. Talk about a pirate unlike any other. Anyway, I'm gonna try again here for this boss fight. That's one of the things I wanted to say before I turn this level. You can't do anything about the barrels. Only just try to get this guy and, and his ship. And there's one thing to know about this guy, you never know. You never know how many times you're gonna hit by the cannonballs or the barrels. And this is my second attempt to try to do this. Got hit by the barrel that time. A brawl is surely brewing. 
It's on indeed. Like you don't want to jump too soon. I also gotta watch out for the barrel too, even when it, when it lands on the floor, on the wooden, the wooden dock. Like as soon as the barrel hits the floor, hits the, the wind dock, you have to wait for it to get back up before you, you move. Or else you get hit. It really makes me wonder how many cannonballs are going to come out of that ship's mouth. And now here you gotta watch out for like, the squid that he has. His aqua squid. Watch out for it comes out of the squid's mouth. And dodge what there is. While trying to get this guy. Here, you gotta watch out for what there is. That shark. Shark, and we immediately move out of the way. And after that shark, you're probably wondering what else is gonna happen next. Here, I got, got more of this guy right here. The minute he does that whistle, we want to immediately move out of the way to watch out for the shark. Stay back. And also, gotta watch out for these sharks. These, these small sharks here. How many, more how many more sharks are going to keep coming on board? I'm going to try this boss fight again off camera. I'll see you next video after I defeat this guy. So, I'll see you then. After I get this guy.